Hello everybody, and welcome back again to another episode of Emma Void's Let's Play of Time Spinner. So, last we left off, we had found a new familiar friend. We got the ability to double jump, which is super cool. And, uh, yeah. There's always more stuff to do. Oh, and of course, got some new weapons. Very cool. Alright, so... Let's figure out what we're going to do now, shall we? Let's see... Um, you know, I've got... A journal, I can just check that. <laughs> uh, let's see... Find out if bleakness is cured... Right! Right, so we went to the future... Or no. We defeated... The demons in the past in the hopes that it would change the future enough for us to be able to get into that facility. So let's go try that. Here we go, and no, that just got rid of one of the things. Okay, well. That's weird. What's. By the way, what's this room over here? Oh, right, it's one we can't get into. Okay. Um. Well then. <laughs> so let's see. Crystal, can't do that. Hmm. Well, let's maybe try checking in with the uh, librarian. There you are. Hmm, not so much. Oh, you know what we could probably do, though? Oops. Yeah, up there. We can maybe get up there now. Let's try that out. Oops. Alright. Gotcha. We'd met with traders before, but I'd never seen so many people and goods in one place as in the city marketplace. They bustle about on a million errands, merchants shouting their wares, and Lachiemi, tro Lachiemi soldiers patrolling the streets in their purple armor. They have declared Windaria part of their empire now. They rule here. Miss, someone calls out, can I interest you in some fruit from the stars? He's not a local, and his wares are unlike anything I've seen before. What is this? I ask, picking up a spiky purple bulb. Lachiemi's son, sweetest fruit you'll ever eat. It's from Lachiem? He laughs. Nothing grows on devastation anymore, but it's from one of the colonies, where I'm from, in fact. I hear a cough behind me, and then a group of Imperial soldiers stands around the booth, staring at the merchant, though the leader stares only at me. My heart begins to rush. Uh, I'm sorry, officers, the merchant stammers. I meant no disrespect to the homeworld. Don't let us hear you call Lachiem that name again, one of the soldiers says. The merchant nods, but the leader continues to ignore him. He removes his helmet to reveal a young face and handsome. His hair is bright blue like all the native Lachiemi. The Lachiemi are said to be quick-tempered, restless, but that blue hair is such a marvel. The officer smiles at me, and my pulse quickens, but this time not from fear. I overheard you ask about that fruit, he says. You have an eye for quality. He's noticed my stare, and I blush. Would you allow me to buy that for you? Everyone should be graced with the taste of the Lachiemi sun. Ah. Alright, so it looks like her dad 
was a uh, was from Lahian. That explains why everybody was saying that she looked like, well, like like she was Lahiemi. All right. Ooh. So we got a map, and there seems to be something. Oh wait, no, that's just our little marker to Hickey, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Well, let's continue exploring up here. Oh, it's a TV. And a doggo! Hello, doggo. Gold necklace. Huh. So I'm guessing this is probably more of the um, Kickstarter backers. Lots of loot up here. Nice. <laughs> that person has far too many hats. I love it. <laughs> I stay in the city for several days, hoping to explore and trade. I end up spending much of my time with the Lakiami officer. For all our history, we have been a restless people, he tells me. He's told me much about their history, philosophy, and art. It drives us to explore, to go further into the stars, to seek the unknown. There's so much beauty in the universe, so many unseen wonders. I used to have a drive like that, I say, to be a hero, to be the one, the one my people look up to. I think you still do, he says. There's a fire in your eyes. He leans close, staring into them. I blush a little, but stare right back. So if you have such a drive to explore, why are you still on our world? I ask. There's still a lot to see here, he says softly. I want to understand other cultures and perspectives, help bring their ideas into the Empire. I recognize our system is not always perfect, we put a lot of focuses on, focus on resources and power, but I believe our drive is also towards self-improvement, or at least that's how I'd like it to be. A noble goal, but he interrupts me before I can finish him. I know, there is still so much to be done. Wisdom to study, allies to find. I continue to stare into his eyes. They're full of passion, but a quieter kind now. His gorgeous blue head draws closer to mine. There's such beauty in the universe, wonders to discover, he continues. Such as? I ask. He answers with his lips on mine. Man, I, I, I gotta say, this must be a little awkward. Her picking up all of these memories from her mom of when her mom met her dad. Oh well. Considering, for the time being at least, her mom's dead, she probably appreciates it more than dislikes it. Alright, I'm not sure where we're going yet, so boop. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, ka! Things have changed here. Have you been messing with time? Okay, hold on. How do you know things have changed? Wouldn't you just think they've always been this way? I don't follow the laws of physics. Like anyone who is enlightened, I see the time stream for what it is. Enlightened? You collect shiny baubles. Don't insult my shiny stuff, Emporium! Anyway, haven't you found them useful? You shouldn't be so glib, Crow. Some of us like being a little more transparent, Dragon. Anyway, you're causing quite the stir. I just help her. Whatever. You're going to get in my way? Of course not. I'm merely a capitalist, selling my wares. Care to exchange your hard-earned money for my goods and or services? Ah, uh, capitalists, of course. Well, uh, at the very least, I'm pretty sure we've got some excess stuff that we don't need. So let's get rid of those. Don't I still have that equipped? 
think they still have that equipped. Get rid of no. All right, here we go. This is somewhere we weren't able to get to yet. And hey. Another teleporter room. Awesome. Sealed caves. Interesting. Hmm. What do we got here? Ah! Safe point. Good. Ooh. A skeleton. Looks like they took quite the tumble. What's this? A key card. Yes! Awesome! Key card B for senior level scientists. Nice! Well, that'll be helpful. Uh, this one needs an A. Well, that's okay. Looks like we got what we came here for. away before Lunaeus was born, and the whole clan grieved with me, but we could not grieve for long. Lunaeus was born as we traveled. She had brilliant blue hair, confirming in my mind who the father must have been. The elders asked if I wanted to find him, to bring him into the clan, but I said he couldn't be trusted. He's Lachiemi. Anyway, I had no desire to see him again. He was never meant to be a long-term commitment. Lunaeus is headstrong. She rallies the kids around her in games of exploration and adventure. I try to teach her patience, but it comes slowly. But she's strong. Not like Pharaon and Gianna's son. Yorin is quiet, and he can be mean, but I cannot blame him. Pharaon gives him little attention. Yorin seems unable to replace Pharaon's previous son from the other history, no matter how hard he tries. In his mind, his family is lost to the sands. Gianna gave him a son, but despite her best intentions, she could not give him the kind of family he wanted. I understand now why Mother privately cautioned her. Lunais, wait up! Yorn calls as they race around the encampment. Lunais pauses, and then Yorn rushes past her. Ha! Sucker! Lunais snarls and gives chase. Sticks float in the air around her head. Her aura is powerful. More powerful than mine. We will have to train her as a time messenger. We may have to train them both. We can't keep on like this, or we'll lose our whole clan to other histories. Yeah, they've definitely had to deal with quite a few people coming in. Hmm. What do we got over here? Save point? Good. And this away? Another teleporter. And... Oh! This place looks familiar. I think we've been here in the past. Oh, goodness. Alright, you. 
goodness, there's a lot of them here, though. Holy crud, they jumped far. So many of these damn things. Alright. Hmm. Looks like whatever was down there was filled in with concrete and rebar. Fetid wire. I'm just gonna stand here and let my fairy beat you up because nah that'll take forever. Never mind. Whoa. Huh, so those spit ink apparently. Teleport back. Nice. Water mask. Weighted mask allowing breathing and movement underwater. Nice. Ow. Okay. Rude. I was worried for a moment there. But no, it's just our fairy buddy healing us. That's that's cool. Seem to be a way to not get hit by those. Hmm. The shield helps a little bit at least, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't particularly want to get hit by that stuff. Oops. Tail. Probably shouldn't need it. No kidding. Ow, butts. Uh, really should have more. I should maybe pick up more antidotes before we head back to the past. Alright. 
first though. What's down here? Ooh. Ooh, it is good. Mm, I guess you could, depending on the situation, you could maybe use the sand to avoid getting hit by those projectiles when you fight those one enemies. Alright, Krill. I need stuff. Like, a couple more warp shards would be super handy. Do not have... Uh, of course you don't have antidotes. That would be too helpful. Enjoy your time, or should I say times? <laughs> Ace is just like, no, no, you should not. Uh, all right, let's get back to the past then, and do some more swimming. There we go. Alright, what do we got down here now? Okay. Max sand up, cool. That's not what I meant to do. Oops. Crud. Got too close. Ah, and no antidotes. I don't know how you're supposed to get down there. Hey, antidote. here. Oh, more silver ore. Nice. I guess those ones do the ink attack too. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Rather than walking all the way back, let's just teleport. Okay. Um, was there anywhere else? Oh, yes! I know someplace else we can go to use our new power. Let's head back to the lake.
Awesome. What do we got down here? Uh oh. Oh goodness. <laughs> that is a heck of an eel. Oof. Oh yeah. I know where we are now. This place isn't blocked off anymore. Oh, although I should maybe go hit that save point up again. As long as that's still what it is. Okay. Yes. That is what it is. Alright. to make sure you actually have the double jump. Pretty deep, honestly. The one thing I'm always a little unsure about in games like these is like. It's hard to tell when you're supposed to be just randomly exploring or when there's some story hint that tells you where to go and you just missed it. But randomly exploring is fun too, so not really a big deal. Alright, then, boogers. Definitely know where we're getting back up that way. Whoa! Ancient frail. Oh, gross. Okay, 
you're dead. Okay. That was weird. Naivete. Elana, you are naive if you think that allowing these Lachiemi to believe they have truly escaped my ire by declaring some kind of independence will prevent eventual strife. The more powerful they think they are, the more likely they will initiate conflict. They are, after all, a world of criminals. However, I have no need to antagonize them directly. We are powerful, they are weak. If you truly think they will remain peaceful, I invite you to visit them. Go as an ambassador and see how they respond to diplomacy. You will see that it is hopeless, and when you return, I shall have prepared a strike force to remind them and our citizens who holds the power. VT. Huh. silver ore. Always nice. I don't know what it's for, but I know it's shiny. Ooh. Mother of Pearl. Dazzling iridescent shard of a larger shell. Oh, interesting. Boosts damage, will, fortitude, luck. And defense. Neat. Alright, and what do we got? Oh, another teleport spot. Okay. Now this is starting to get a bit spooky. Hey, plasma crystals! Oh, that means... Huh. See, I thought the key would be down, would be over that way. This is definitely the place then. And elemental beads. In that case, what have we got here? This must be the Maw of Asmodeus, the thing that destroys Villette and lets Lachiam become the undisputed power. Well, not this time. Oh good! That's fine, I can kill you from either side. And the air here, I never felt so light, so... so right. Let's do this. 
And sucks us right back through. The portal's gone. Is Villette safe? Even if they are, everyone's stuck here now. Well, that was certainly a thing. Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, there's still some things in this area that we didn't quite catch on the way over here. So I'm gonna head back and grab all of those. Boop. Alright, this was one spot. up this way. Mm, I thought this might be the case. Looks like whatever is up there, we're not gonna be able to get to it yet. Oh, okay, hold up. That was a, th a crud. There was something there. Ah, curses. Ah, boop. All right, here we go. This we can reach and ooh. Wind orb slices foes with supersonic gusts of wind. I'm already intrigued. Ooh. Goodness. I came back for that. Alright, let's go ahead and teleport back now. Oh, actually, uh, well, yeah. Here we go. There was still a little bit of area over here that we didn't quite catch. Cloak. 
Lightly enchanted gray cloak with an ornate clasp in the shape of a leaf. I'll take it. over here. Aha! Ice orb creates deadly icicles on the ground. Upgrades are nice. Okay. Ooh, eel meat. Delicious. Barbed and enemies. All right, Barb. There's a little bit more underwater area we can explore over here. So let's go check that out real quick. More elemental beans. Awesome. Oops. Let's get that last little chunk of map so I don't get confused by it later. Got lots of new stuff. We heard a rumble from below. What happened out there? I destroyed the thing that the Lahiemi had guarding the portal. Then the portal is liberated. Eh, 
I'm sorry. When the mall was destroyed, so was the portal. I see. Then there is no going back. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Is this the crystal you need? Yes, thank you. Let's hope it helps. While you were gone, I slept and dreamt. I was back in Villette before the war. I saw the Emperor Volterillus rise to power with his powerful magics. I saw how they took anyone with magical gifts to raise in their cloistered castles, and how they treated those who had no magic, like second-class citizens. And then, all the Velician Empire's enemies gathered up and forced through the portal to this world, and the war, the things they've done, and being here, now, seeing what the bleakness can do. And? It was just a dream. I don't know. I guess I can just understand why the Lachiemi are so angry, willing to fight back. Their actions may be wrong, but I can't say the Let's ever been any better. Maybe I'll talk to Haristel about it. Sure. Cool. So, still haven't found the cure, yeah. But, in the meantime, let's see, Colossal Hammer and Bombardment, we saw those ones already. Storm Eye, surround yourself with raging winds that tear nearby foes apart, and impale foes with a row of spikes. Interesting. Silence Ring, Tailwind, expends aura points to strengthen melee attacks, and causes melee attacks to shoot icicle arrows. Neat. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more necklaces. <laughs> a lot more necklaces and a lot more rings. But, uh... Let's go with those two. And as for the aura necklace... with that one. Oh, right, and also I want to upgrade some of our orbs. Uh, specifically, I like this wind orb, it's pretty cool. I'm guessing I'll probably only actually spend them when I'm actually attacking enemies. Oops. That ice school ring, though, is really cool. <laughs> I dig it. So we're stuck here. Better go sharpen my weapons. Aw, I'm sorry. Hey, thought I'd give Romina a break. He works so hard. Anyway, looking after this guy isn't so bad. How's he doing? He's a fighter, I can tell. The bleakness hit him hard, but he's not giving up. Sometimes I can't believe Villette would even send people here, knowing what the bleakness could do to them. No wonder the Lachiemi rebelled. I don't blame them. Look at this. I never wanted to fight in a war. It was just a job. Shoot. It's a good thing Harrison's not around. She'd have my hide treasonous talk like that. How about a subject change, eh? We're running low on food again. I'm thinking we need something more substantial than bird legs. There were some live ones in the, ca in the caves last time I was down there. They're territorial beasts, but they've got some meat on them. Think you could take them? Sounds like fun. Great. Bring me three of their tails, would you? Uh, pretty sure I've already got those, actually. Oof, these things are heavy. You got the wyvern tails? Fabulous. 
You hear that? One strength restoring feast coming right up. Get some tail, ha ha ha. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, he's a brave one, he is. Barely alive and still fighting. What's that? Something to write with? Hmm? Shivu feather siren ink. Yeah, for a pen, sure. Um, yeah, I don't think we have any feathers yet, so I guess... Oh, yeah we do. We have both those things. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, here we can buy more antidotes. I'm gonna grab a couple more. <laughs> hmm. So I got the things already. Then we need it. Yeah, need to come back first. Hey, you awake? I brought you your pen. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What's your name? Esham. Hi, Esham. I'm Lunais. What unit are you from? The 23rd. Portal Patrol. Poor guy. You were just about to be sent home when the portal was taken, weren't you? Decided to stay and see the sights. Well, I'm going to do my best to get you better, okay? And not be able to lie in bed all day. I'll pass. <laughs> I like this guy. Alright. So. We've definitely made some good progress. Let's see if we've managed to uh, open up that entryway yet. No, not quite. Still one more thing we're gonna have to get past. Hmm. Oh, right, but I wonder if that key card we found might be helpful for any of these other areas we've already been to. Let's see. A. B. Here we go. Rude. Here we go, what's this? Bleakness research. Proposed methods and their efficacy in curing the bleakness. Abstract. The bleakness, a genetic medical condition that has been linked to several negative symptoms, has plagued Lachiam natives for over a millennium. In this paper, we propose possible cures for the disease by gene modification, infusions of synthetic plasma, and temporary exposure to plasma radiation. User testing consisted of 50 adults per technique between the age of 20 and 40. Results were statistically significant for all techniques on the short-term and long-term examinations, p-values less than 0.01. Short-term measurements show that relief is reported by and measured in 0% of the gene modification subjects, 88% of the synthetic plasma subjects, and 100% of the plasma radiation subjects. Long-term measurements show that this reported relief, experienced by two of the test groups, does not last, with 86.2 returning to baseline discomfort within one week, and 100% by three weeks. We recommend that further research is done on gene modification as technology improves. Nice! I think that's what we were looking for. Are there any other 
others we haven't been into up here? No. Head back this way. Hi, Linnaeus. You really seem to be settling in around here. You're doing the camp a lot of good. Helping you helps me. You can't convince me helping Eshem was a selfish act. We've been talking a lot. Well, I talk. He writes. It's amazing he's kept such a sense of humor after going through what he has. First as a portal guard, then the bleakness and being stuck here. What's so tough about being a portal guard? It's a less glamorous job than regular army positions. He's from a different class than the rest of us. No magical talent. I've been told all my life that I'm better than him, you know? Above him. Just because of what little magic I have. He's got a great smile, though. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, anyway, food. Supplies have been pretty good, thanks to your help, but if we're to keep spirits up, we'll need a little variety. There are some giant eels deep in the lake. If you could swim, getting some of their meat could be just what the quartermaster ordered. How big are these eels? Oh, you know, not so big. Like, as long as six men or so. That's a good thing I like a challenge, Seikis. Oh, I know. And we already got those. Slimy, sticky eel meat, as requested. Nothing a few spices won't fix up nicely. You really are magic if you can make that appetizing. You know it. Thanks, Lunais. Wrestle the eel. So, Unagi roll! We got Unagi rolls. Awesome. So, falling for the, uh... Guy over here, huh? Oh! Feeling any better? Yeah, well, mostly. Well, a little. Anything I can do? Stay and talk a bit? I'm not a big talker. You've been such a help to everyone else in the camp. Ramada and Nelist and Seikis. Seikis has been really good to me, keeping me company and whatnot. This is a nice group of people. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I think I like Seikis a lot. Uh-huh. Have you told him? No, I'm... worried. Why? Back home, he wouldn't have looked at me. He wouldn't have been supposed to. He's a higher class, magically talented, not like me. It's such bullcrap. You're born with magic and you get whisked away to their... academies. Meanwhile, the rest of us slip up once and we get arrested or banished or killed. I think Seikis might like you. Even if he does, he'll never say it. I need to rest. I'll leave you be. Wait, I want to give him something. Maybe it will help. Could you bring me silver ore? Maybe from the caves? Yeah, sure. We've already got silver ore. This is what I could find. Eshem? Hmm. Oh, the nice. That's perfect. Thank you. I hope. Well, thank you. Helping! It's always fun. Now, let's get that info on... Okay, fine. You okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Just lost in thought. Thinking about a certain cute portal god. What? Oh, yeah, but... Uh, it just makes me mad that he was condemned to that blasted sickness. You... I mean, we all have it. He just has it worse. That's just bad luck. But he didn't have to get in in the first place if he wasn't forced to stay here. We got trapped here. He was told to stay. No one should have that power to decide what some, that some people get fewer rights just because of how they were born. That some people have to live with disease. <sighs> Sorry, not my usual cheery self today. You looking for something to do? If it'll help. Sure, yeah, let me think. I've seen the Lachiemi riding Shavur into battle. They've been raising the birds to be big. They'd make a much bigger difference for our rations than the little guys around here. Plus, it'll keep Peristal happy, kill two Shavur with one stone, as it were, improve our rations and weaken Lachiemi army at the same time. Think the meat will be any good? Ah, uh, who knows. 
but her still's been on my ass, so I'd rather appe appease her regardless. Alright, giant warbird flesh coming right up. Now that we don't already have a lot of. Lunais, hi! Did you find anything? It looked like they developed some treatments, no? I brought back everything I could find. Maybe it can help. But they never cured it. Over the years, it just got less and less deadly, I guess. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. We, you did eventually. You did everything you could, and I'm sure these notes will be extremely useful. Thank you. Maybe we can help some people. And it occurred to me, the symptoms are all about longing and quick tempers and things. Maybe that's what makes Lachium so aggressive. They never got over the bleakness. I suppose that would make sense. Maybe it's not really their fault. They were stranded here after all. And that's not what I meant. They still made a choice now. I suppose. Ooh, gold necklace. Uh, I wonder if Valette is still safe in the future. Alright, we got a necklace, but we don't have another uh, gem. That's okay. So, now that we've done that, let's see if we can get past that barrier in the future. Still no. Alright, at the very least, thought I'd come this way and check out the uh, bit of water over here that we had to skip past before. Elemental beads, nice. And a pendulum. A chunk of amethyst suspended on a golden chain prevents poison. Oh, nice. That could definitely be useful. I really like this icicle power. <laughs> hmm. Aha! I got your bird, Pete. I can't believe we bought into it for so long. That you could cook this stuff? What? Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Ludais. But no, I meant our whole system. We were privileged by it. We didn't see how the other half lived, and even when we heard about it, well, it was hard to believe what it was really like that, that it was really like that. But it is. Yeah. No wonder the Lakiami rebelled. No wonder they're so angry. The system back home. You're treated as a second-class citizen. And I'm not supposed to care. I'm supposed to look down on you? No way. How can I see you as anything but wonderful? <laughs> They're so cute. Alright. So let's grab that and double check for- ah! More quests! What did they say? That it was our duty to be cannon fodder. To protect the magically gifted with our lives. So they escaped through the portal before the Lachiami could take it and left you to die. Am I interrupting? Oh, sorry, Lunais. No, it's fine. 
Esham's recovered a bit. That's great. But I'm not sure he'll ever fully recover. We just don't have the facilities, the treatments here. Without better medicine, I don't know. I'm just trying to make him comfortable. Better medicine? I bet there's better medicine in my time. Maybe we can still help him. Now you're thinking with time portals. Trouble is, I'm not entirely sure where to find it. More changes! Ka! Was that lion statue always there? I don't know. What have you got? He won't be happy with all this. Sure he will. He grows more powerful. Fine. Then I won't be happy about all this. I like this world. Too bad. It has to change. If you say so. Just take my money. <laughs> Alright, so I was saying I need more necklaces. And I need more essence crystals. There we go. Alright, well, I think that's enough for today's episode. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time. We'll see if we can find some medicine for that poor injured soldier. And figure out how to continue on with the plot. <laughs> if you like this one, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, you can maybe hit the notification bell or check down in the doobly-doo where you'll find links to places you can throw money my way. Uh, or even just... Hang out on my Discord server. The link's right down there. Alright. See you all later. Bye!